All right, folks. We've got our nutrient mix all nice and safe, safely tucked away in our reservoir. This is a uh, just a 27-gallon tote, uh, which I can tell you from uh, I don't know it. Uh, I know Bobby's a uh, MHP gardener. He mixes uh, tons of nutrients. Of course, he does have a 55-gallon bucket. You need to check MHP Gardener's channel out if you haven't already. And uh, he can elaborate on some of this a little better than I can. And I'm just getting started. Um, I tell you what, it works out really good. Is I've only got five tomato plants on mine, and I tell you, I have to I have to replenish my reservoir with at least you know uh, 15, 10, 10 to 15 gallons of water every three days, or nutrient mix rather. Sometimes I add a little water to it because uh, I'm I'm fixing to show you why. That TDS meter. This is uh, measuring total dissolved solids. I check this about every time I do this. I'm going to flip it on. Stick it down in there. Swish it around a little bit so it gets all the air out from in there. I didn't show you the part. You can push hold on that. And we show, we're showing a 922 parts per million which is your uh, total dissolved solids that's your, your ratio of nutrients to water versus water um, I try to usually try, try to keep it right around that uh, but let me tell you before I put this nutrient mix in here uh, I was reading ppm levels uh, right around 1300 so uh, what that tells you right there what it tells me anyway and anybody that's watching out there knows I mean, there's, there's plenty of people know more about this than I do, but uh, that tells me that the plants are taking a lot of water and not as many nutrients. So you have to kind of keep an eye on that. It's best to, I think, uh, BPM going up a little bit with the uh, when the plants are fruiting heavily like they are right now is not as big a concern with tomato plants uh, as it could be with some other types of uh, fruits or vegetables. But uh, I do like to I, try, I like to try to put a little bit of water in there with it when the ppm levels get up pretty high I try try to I'm trying to keep it right around 900 to a thousand something like that I believe it's an echo 320 pump matter of fact that uh, they just came on right now uh, must be one o'clock <laughs> and as you I guess you can see down there I have uh, I have a, like a it's what a it's a paint strainer bag, small paint strainer bag over the end of that pump to keep any uh, materials that's not wanted in there out, so it don't get in there and stop up the drip lines. And as you can see, they are doing very good. Okay, y'all. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it was helpful to you, and uh, we'll keep you up to date. Keep you posted. Meanwhile, everybody, God bless and have a wonderful day.